So now we're going to take a look at the format menu. Once you have something selected, um, just like you had all these tools on the formatting toolbar, you can also go to the format menu and you can change the fill color there, the borders and lines. And then there's also this format options, which I kind of skipped over earlier. Um, you can mess around with the size and position. So if you want to put in precise measurements um, or positions on the page or the canvas, as they call it, you want to rotate or flip something, you can do that with the formatting options, size and position. You can also add a shadow. There's a whole bunch of different options for that. You can change how transparent the shadow is. You can change the angle of the shadow and the distance away. This always looks wacky when you do it the wrong way. And you can change this blur radius, which you can see what that does. It kind of makes it a little bit more blurry or a little bit less blurry. And finally, there's reflection. And that does what you think it would might do. And you can change the distance or you can change the size of your reflection. And there you go. So that's how you can mess around with your objects. And again, when you select something, you just go to the format menu and you're going to have different choices. Like if I put borders and lines here for my dog, it's not going to put the border around the dog. It's going to put it around the actual shape um, that surrounds the dog, which in this, it's always going to be a rectangle. Uh, I also want to show you the arrange menu. So let's say, I've, you know, I've got all these different things here. I'm going to get rid of the reflection here because I don't like that. And I want to put um, this text on top of this rectangle. Okay, that worked. Or if I want to put it on top of this shape, well, that doesn't work. Like if I want the shape to be kind of a, a frame for my text, I'm going to resize this shape. Okay. And then I try to put the text on top of this, it is not going to work. Every time that you create something new in Google Drawings, it puts it on a new layer. So the newer things are going to be on top and the older things are going to be below those. So if you want to add something so that you can see both it and what's behind it, um, you click on any of the objects really and you think about where it is. So right now I clicked on the shape and it's on top of the text. So I want to go to the arrange menu and I want to choose order. And what do I want to do? I want to send it backward. And now it's behind the text. Now, sometimes you'll do that and nothing will happen or it looks like nothing happens. That's because it's so many layers uh, above the thing you're trying to send it behind. So that's why the send to back exists. It's going to immediately put it on the bottom layer. So now if I drag anything up there, that shape that I drew is going to be behind all of these things, okay, including the dog. So you've got those options. And then again, you've got to the opposite of that bring forward, which is going to take something. So if, if for some reason I did want to cover up my text, I can skip all the other stuff and just bring it right to the front. Um, I said I can bring it to the front. There we go. And that works. And also in the arrange menu, that's where um, if you want to flip something, you can do that. I showed you that on the format options, but you can also do that here. And the arrange menu is uh, really handy for um, putting things exactly in the order that you want them to be in. And then once you have things set up the way that you want them to be in your drawing, um, then it's time to, to move on. Um, and the thing is with Google Drawings, though, you can't see it unless it's in Google Drawings. So like you couldn't put this onto your website um, and, and have people view it that people would have to open, they would have to download it and open it up in Google Drawings. So the way that you get your drawings exported so that they can be viewed is you go to the file menu and you choose download as, and then you're gonna choose um, this PNG in this case. Sometimes I might tell you to use a different format, but in this case, it's gonna be a PNG and that's gonna download it uh, to wherever you specify. Now I'm not on the Chromebook, so mine looks a little bit different, but if I were to click on this, you see it opens up and um, it looks like the background is black, but it's not. It's a transparent background. And you can actually see that by these uh, checkerboards here that uh, it's a transparent background. I didn't I didn't make the background white. It's not white. So if I wanted to have a background, um, I can do that. I could just draw a big rectangle and then I would have a nice background color and I would just have to make sure I export it again. And how do I get it to the back? Well, arrange, order, send it back. And now I've got my finished product. So at this point, um, you're going to raise your hand and show me what you've created. And again, what I'm looking for is word art, something that you drew yourself, um, an image of some sort, a text box, 
formatting some different things. And again, show me that before you move on to the next piece. Let me know if you have any questions. Good luck.